got to go, got to go. Why? You wanna face to face, face to face. Fight. You're gonna fight this storm, fight this storm. Smile. Today the rain is gone, rain is gone. Try. I wanna see you try. You're gonna find a way. Yeah, yeah. Picked up the tub. Well, I had him come with me to pick up the tub because I couldn't carry it back to um where I live. So I picked up the tub. This was the first item that I had got from somebody. Then the next thing you know, from the same place where I used to live at, someone was giving away baby clothes and it was for um, a girl. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Next person and um he was my music teacher when. I was, um, gosh, when I was in elementary school. So his wife was giving away their daughter's um, old clothing because they couldn't use it anymore. So that was another item. Those was plenty, of, like a lot of items. Then he, that um, brings her daughter to daycare. She was like, oh, well, since your daughter is expecting, I can give her clothes and I can give her stuff. So that's just to say and i'm not bragging or anything it's just basically to sit up here and say that you know what god is awesome god is good because he does answer your prayers he may not answer them whenever you want them whenever you want him to or whenever you want that right thing to be answered onto you but guess what he's always answered them on time because if you're not ready to receive what he has for you or he knows that you're not ready he's not going to give it to you at that given moment but he knew that that wasn't for me that was more for my daughter because i was worried i was scared but i set up here and prayed that prayer and left it in his hands and he just kept blessing me fluently and fluently with the clothes that she has um most of them was given to me there was only a few outfits like her first um her first outfit that she was coming home in i bought that and i bought her a pair of socks and um some avent bottles and what else oh and event pacifiers so she got that from me she got the um the covering to go over it her car seat for because it was in winter time when she was born well I, yeah october is considered the winter time up here i would say but because it was like really cold well it wasn't really really cold but it was cold so i had a covering on her car seat that way like the air because it was very windy so she couldn't get sick or anything but her dad bought that um and then he bought um some extra avent bottles and uh it was something else he had bought i don't remember but with her clothes like so far like my mom has bought her some clothing items and some shoes and everything like that but most of her clothes came from me through other people and which is a blessing like you never turn down your blessing. I don't care if they're they're so called hand me downs as people say. There's nothing wrong with hand me downs because if you don't have the means to take care of your child, or take care of, or to do what you need to do, or somebody's gonna bless you with something and you know you need that thing, don't sit up here and go, oh no, I'm not gonna take it. Because if you're in need of that same thing, no matter if it's used or what, you're going to take it. If it's in good condition, there's nothing wrong with it, you should take it. Always know that just because you pray for something, that doesn't mean that, like, God is going to always um, bless you to be able to buy something new or somebody give you something new. Because somebody may not have that new thing or that new item. So if somebody's willing to give you something that's new i mean that's used why not that's what i'm just basically saying i'm not trying to argue with nobody i'm just stating like this is like living proof that god does is this it's not the first time that god has worked in my life it's not um but i'm just stating like even now she's like oh well give give me your number give me your address i have more stuff coming that's a blessing because even before 
Like, like I said, I breastfeed her, so I don't really have a job. Not even just that. I don't trust anybody with watching her other than my mom. And my mom gets here at 6. Like, well, she gets off of work at 6, and she gets here, like, around 6.30 sometimes. Um, later than that. So I don't really have anybody that I can trust to watch her. Other than my mom. And, like, I don't want to work at night. Because I'm not going to have a way to get back home. And I'm not going to walk for somewhere. Especially if it's far. So, like, I plan on starting working. Like, um, when she starts school, probably like two. Because I want to have her in daycare then. But, um, even with YouTube, this is like a form of my job too as well. That That's why I'm starting more frequently to make vlogs and everything. So it's like, um, I'm not just like doing nothing, pretty much like that. But at the same time, by the same token, I don't have the means to be able to get her the stuff that she needs in the winter stuff and this, that, and forth. So I've been blessed with people to be able to get me that stuff. She has winter stuff, and she's going to get more. And like I said, I'm not bragging. I'm just to show, tell you that God does exist. All you have to do is believe within your heart. Talk to him. Ask him for what you want. And let leave, leave that to him. After you ask your question and say, Oh, God, I need you to help me out with this. That and the fourth. Da, da, da. Leave it in his hands. Let him worry about it. Don't stress over it anymore. Like, even before, like, this apartment that I live in, it's a blessing. It was a blessing from God. Because where we was living.